Hey guys, good evening everyone. My name is Scar Navarro, where life is drama, drama is life. And in this week though, I decided to take a bit of a week off for myself and um, just to readjust to everything. So right now I'm just glad to hear that there's more work for me at the moment and just balancing things out though. But, but I definitely do miss you guys and hopefully you guys are staying safe and taking good care of yourselves and just trying to stay strong. And it's gonna be it's tough, but we still have a lot to keep on going with this. Alright everyone, today I'm going to talk about a very well known figure who has had a, adaptations many times on. I'm going to talk about specifically the adaptations from dramas and its own. And he it definitely was based on, on a martial artist who, who was prominent at the end of the Qing Dynasty and was well known in for finding for funding an athletic association called the Jingwu or Qingwu Athletic Association. And his name is Huo Yanjia. Alright guys, um this week a drama called Dasha Huo Yanjia, which is the next which is another drama that recently is out now which is portrayed by second time by this Zhao Wenzhuo who also, if anyone knows Zhao Wenzhou, besides being an actor, though, he's also a martial artist in real life. And definitely, Huo Yunjia definitely was, an, was definitely more than just an iconic figure, though. He also fought for, for patriotism, especially during the, during the period where the Qing Dynasty was falling, was collapsing completely. And because of foreign invasion and so many things that were going on though he was definitely also well known for for winning matches against opponents who were foreigners and definitely was you known for his renowned skill and even the fact that he died definitely like that he died like two years before one year a year before the Qing Dynasty ended though um, he definitely died very young, not like in his 20s, but like around 30s, 40s, but he definitely remained the subject of mythology and the subject of impact, and he definitely has maintained a lot, a huge influence both in movies and television in itself. Alright guys, um, if you guys want to know and if you guys want to know what what dramas were made about him though, I'm definitely going to talk about just dramas that are specific of Hoi in, ja in general. Alright guys, in 1981, ADV has produced Dasha Hoi in ja, and it is called The Legendary Folk and it starred Wong Yun-sung, Michelle Yim, Bruce Lung, Sui excuse me Sui Siu Ming and Bill Tung Pyu and it definitely was 20 episodes and definitely was a very successful drama at that time and definitely it's the theme song is by Johnny Yip definitely still memorable till this day and I definitely definitely recommend everyone to also check this one out as well and it's definitely on the TVB Wuxia channel. It's 20 episodes. I also recommend everyone to watch it. Alright, then in 1982, there's also another adaptation called Huo Yanjia, which starred Wang Dao, and it was in CDS. And there's definitely not much info at the, um, but I did hear that it did, it did air, um, in Taiwan as well. And then, 20 years and then and then several years later in 2001 though there's another drama called Huo Yanjia which starred Zhao Wenzhou, Mei Ting, and Wu Yue and another and then this and then in 2007 though there is another ad adaptation of Huo Yanjia which starred Ekin Chung, Jordan Chan, Zhou Mu Yin, and Brian Lung and it also, and it definitely 
was and definitely was directed by Ju Joy Liang. And another and then also this year this would be 13 years later, Ho Yan Jia would come back. And this time though it's played second time around by Vincent Zhao, Mao Lin Lin, Mao Lin Lin, Shi Xiaolong, Gao Xiong, and many more and even a special appearance by Bruce Lung. Who also makes in a who definitely played Chun Jun in the in the in the original 1981 adaptation. All right, guys, these are just the list that are that I um described. Of. If there's any information, please let me know. And which one was my favorite adaptation? My favorite adaptation, though, I will definitely say though, would have to be the Legendary Falk of 1981. Yes, and the good news is it is out on the TVB Wuxia channel, even though it was produced by ADB, even though ADB is not no longer there at the moment at the moment because I heard that there's plans to revitalize, but you can definitely watch all the episodes online, um, depending on where you are at. And I definitely recommend people to check this one out. And so far though, I also have seen the recent one as well. It's definitely not that bad, and which one it definitely was a surprise for me, um, because I didn't give much expectation of this one, but overall though, I definitely, I'm definitely a bit sur surprised by this one. I, even though the title is now called Heroes, but I could have, it could have been called The Legendary Hero, or just Huo Yun Jia itself, like Avenue's ex said um, in one of her videos, so, but, but I definitely recommend those who to check out the the ADB version as the original 1981 ATV version as well and and definitely if you guys have seen the new the new version please let me know if you guys liked it loved it though and definitely and definitely Hoyan Jia um has had many has had adaptations in drama cinemas as well in which one and one the reason why because of his because one he fought for for his people and and definitely he became a legend in itself even creating a legend within a legend which is really interesting but please let me know what you guys think and if there's any thoughts com questions comments or concerns please please comment down below and please give this channel a like um, please give this video a like, and and, if, and always make sure to like and subscribe. Any anyway, um, make sure to have a wonderful, pleasant evening. And my hair is somewhat growing, so I'm gonna see um, once it all grows. Though, I'm gonna cut this whole again. But enough about me, though. But please check out, please um, check out any other videos that I've done as well. Um, if you guys have any, have a chance, and definitely, definitely. Um, Definitely, I also recommend any feedback, both good and bad, and definitely let me know. Alright, talk to you all later, and have a wonderful day.